Okay, check this. So what is up guys, Saurabh here and in this video I have a really cool application that you can install on your Android right now to get the feature of back tap on your phone. The feature was officially launched by iOS, the latest version of it, where if you tap on the back of the phone, you would be able to do some certain tasks. And this application is currently at the beta phase, which means that it's not available on Play Store right away. So you have to wait for the official release, but if you want to download and use it, you can find the link in the description. So with that said, let's get started. In order to enable the feature back tap, you have to go to the description and find the application that I've mentioned there. So click on the link and you can download and once downloaded, you can install the app like this. Once you have the application installed, you have to open it. While opening, you'll see two of the messages here. Click on the first one and provide the accessibilities, right? Allow. And then click on the second one to disable the battery optimization. That way, the application can still run in the background. Once you have done that, now it's time to set the double tap actions. Click on double tap action and there would be two options already there. I'm going to drag and remove them. And once I've removed, I can add my own. So let's say for double tapping, I need to activate the flash. So I'll go to utilities and click on flashlight and I have to then enable it. So once I have that, that's all. That's pretty much all. I'll show it what will this do. So back of my phone, double tap, turn on the flash. And then if I double tap, it will turn it off. So that's pretty neat. Now imagine you don't want this feature to run whenever the phone is in your pocket. That means when the phone's display is off, you can click on add requirement and click on display on. So this flashlight feature will only work when your display is on. So that way display is on, you double tap and then now you double tap, it works. But if I put off the display, and then try it will not work so that's the beauty of it now for the triple tap options you have to go here and enable it so enabling is just sliding this and then go to an action to add something let's say i want to add an action which is taking the screenshot on triple tap so just like that now if i triple tap on the back of the phone i'll take a screenshot and if you want this feature to not work when the screen is off you can select the requirement and go to display on only and that way it will only work when the display is on. Now there are a lot of options again so I'm just leaving that for you to explore. Now the second thing interesting thing is called gates here. Now what gates means that it's a condition so suppose you don't want any of this thing to work when the display is off so it says block gestures when the device screen is off and that way it will not run any kind of gestures whenever the display is off and similarly there are a couple of options here like usb device whenever you have a usb device connected it will not work on call it will never work on charging you can disable or enable it there is this advanced option where you can enable the auto restart services whenever your device is restarting. This is an advanced feature as in it's an experimental feature. So it might work for some and it might not work for some people. So make sure you keep that in mind. And that was all for this application tap tap version 0.8.1 beta. So that was all for this video. If you really enjoyed watching this, press that like button. And if you have any questions, ask me in the comment section below. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Do it.